Welcome to Soul Explorers with your host, Gary Langley and Sally Taylor. Welcome to Soul Explorers. We're your hosts, Sally Taylor. My name is Gary Langley. And Sally, real quickly, what do you want to achieve by our doing this podcast? That's a great question, Gary. And it's something that I've thought about a lot, and I'm sure it will probably evolve with time and with the guests that we invite on and, and the topics that we decide to talk about. But initially, in this early phase, I am really wanting to pursue curiosity about consciousness, about the nature of reality, about the nature of existence and the soul, and just to really explore, and we are soul explorers, what the possibilities are with connecting to all of those things and what can be experienced. I feel like I am a curious person by nature. So I kind of call myself a jack of all trades and a master of none because I really like to see where the intersections of experience and knowledge can take us. What about you? Well, well, why are you here, Gary? <laughs> uh, why am I here? Well. I, through my journeys through this lifetime, have come to realize that uh, consciousness survives physical death, uh, that we do continue on. I want to provide opportunities for people through the uh, diversity of guests that we're hoping to have to tap into that, to begin to open up their minds to the possibility because once you are convinced of this, then fear goes. Fear of death. The biggest hindrance, I think, in our human experience is fear. So my hope is that this will provide an avenue for people to look at greater possibilities, the greater reality. So that's my hope. And we're yeah. going to have guests that range from mediums to angel people to scientists. So we'll have a diversity. Exactly. And it's really important to me, and, and I know it is for you as well, that we can find that connection between the science and the spirituality, exactly. between you know what we can know from an intellectual level and what we can know from an experiential level. And I and I think that's I think that's where so many people in the world are going right now. You know, they're looking for the connection between what has been known and what can be known. Right. And I think there's a real curiosity for that now. I think so too. And I think it's increasing more and more all the time. So the more we can present speakers who will address those issues and maybe expand our consciousness a little bit. And then hopefully we have our own direct experiences because no one's really convinced until you have a direct experience that can be anything from an after-death communication from a loved one. It can be an out-of-body experience. So, you know, there's a diversity of things, spiritual awakening of some sort. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's the hope. That's the hope that will suss that out for people by providing them m many opportunities to hear the diversity of people talking about these subjects. Don't you find that a lot of people come to these topics specifically because they had an experience and it's like, and they're trying to understand what it was that they they saw or they experienced or they the the trauma even that they went through that led them 
to need to see things in another way. There's that. And as well as people that are in deep grief. I, I see a lot of people that come to this in deep grief um, with a lot of pain. And yet some, it triggers something in them that they want to begin to, you know, find out for themselves what's the truth about right. And of course, you know, that's very much part of my story as well. Absolutely. And I'm sure as we spend time with our guests, you know, more information about us and, and our background will come to light <laughs> for our listeners and our watchers. But you and I actually both come at this from very different directions. And I think that's what makes us good co-host. I agree. Is that. Yeah, we, you know, you've, you've been a lifetime long-term spiritual seeker and, you know, student. And while I have had a lot of experiences throughout the course of my life, it wasn't until I had a, a deep loss that I was compelled to really begin to understand more yeah. and, and on I a see, deeper I, level. I see this so much that people don't turn to matters of this nature until something triggers it in them. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, lifelong search, avid reader of these materials. In fact, I used to skip high school classes and go hide out and read spiritual books. <laughs> and uh, through all the years of searching, then I had some out-of-body experiences now, I'll say something about out-of-body experiences that they are not a dream. They are more vivid and more real than this waking reality. They never leave you. You don't forget them. I can't tell you what I dreamed last night or maybe a sketchy you know, idea of what happened, but these are vivid and the an out-of-body experience I had in 1981 is with me in full detail to this day. So that's a spiritually transforming experience. In fact, it sent me to, out-of-body experiences sent me to an IONS conference in 1999 because I wanted to find people, this is before we had access to the internet. And so information was only available through books and we didn't have the interactions that we can have today this is providing us a great opportunity it sent me to an ions conference to look at the near death experience and the and the correlation with the out of body experience and that was a really rewarding experience i met some fabulous people that i resonated with on a very deep level so it's been an ongoing process. We always are learning. So, Absolutely. And I've had a few out-of-body experiences as well, but probably nothing quite as deep as you have, but they were absolutely life-altering with regard to that experiential transformative event, again, yes. that makes such a big difference. So hopefully sharing these stories will help validate for other people the things that they are experiencing and the, the places that their curiosity is taking them. I know I keep using that word curiosity, but that really is a little bit of a key piece of, of the idea behind our title, Soul yes. Explorers. And you have to have curiosity to begin to explore the material. Exactly, exactly. So. So thank you so much, Gary. I'm really excited about our endeavor. <laughs> thank you, Sally. I, I'm looking I forward have... to it. And I want to also add that you are doing an immense amount of work on making this happen. And uh, in some ways more than I am. And I just want to uh, congratulate you for all that you're doing. And... Uh, well, thank you. No, we're a team, Gary, because honestly, I rely on you for the the talents and the efforts and the connections that you have, because that will make such a big difference as well. So we have been really lucky to form a friendship through this interest. And I hope that it continues to take us to amazing places. I agree. Just so everyone knows, our first episode will go live on December 12th uh, at 1212 12 a.m. Coming soon.
If you enjoyed this content, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications.